Hi there, today I'm going to walk you through setting up your Amazon S3 bucket for your archived call recordings with SkySwitch. So the first place that you're going to want to go to is the SkySwitch knowledge base at skyswitch.elevio.help or by accessing the help tab in your SkySwitch dashboard. Uh, inside of the knowledge base we're going to search for S3 to pull up the page we're looking for which is provisioning Amazon S3 bucket for archiving recordings. We're going to go over all of these steps included in this document in this video today, but what we need from this document specifically is the identity access and management policy. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy all of this to my clipboard for a later step. So inside of my AWS management console, I'm going to go to the services tab and click on S3 under storage. This is where we're going to actually create our bucket. So if I click on create bucket, we have to give the bucket a name that is globally unique to Amazon. So I'm going to name this S3 Sky Switch. And just click on next and run through the rest of this. We don't need to do anything else at this time to this bucket. So create bucket and our bucket is created as S3 Sky Switch. Now I want to notate the name of my bucket uh, because we'll want to provide that to Sky Switch support and we will be using it for later steps here. So now under the services tab we're going to go to that identity access and management IAM Here we're going to create a user for SkySwitch to be able to both put the recordings in and access them so we can view the recordings in our dashboard. Uh, so the username uh, doesn't really matter. I'm going to name this SkySwitch user. Uh, we're going to give it programmatic access, uh, which will give the access key ID and the secret access key. Uh, and we're going to attach an existing policy even though we don't have the policy set up yet uh, we're going to go ahead and click create policy we're going to click json and paste what we got earlier so there's two parts in here that have to be replaced uh, it's very important if we don't replace them uh, the the user access for the user we're creating just simply won't work so there are two places where it says ABC underscore reseller underscore recordings that we need to replace with the name of our bucket. And I named my bucket S3 Sky Switch. So in both of these locations, I'm just going to replace this with S3 Sky Switch. Now in the second location, you need to be very careful to leave the forward slash and asterisk there. I'll click review policy and name my policy. Again, you can name your policy whatever you want. I'm just going to name mine S3 Sky Switch and create policy. Okay, so we're done with the policy tab here. If we go back to the tab we were on, uh, we'll just click on refresh policies and search for the policy that we just created. S3 Sky Switch. I'm going to select that and click next to review and create user. Now we're given the access key ID and secret access key here. We need to copy and paste these and we'll be providing these to Sky Switch support as well. Okay, so that is all. If we want to test our connection, we can use a program like CyberDuck. Uh, and actually, I'll just create a bookmark. Okay, so here I'm going to select Amazon S3. And it should autofill the server name. I just need to put in my path, which will be the same as my bucket name. And my access key ID.
close and connect. And now we need our secret access key. And log in. Now if we can access the bucket, that means we're done, we're good to go, our policy was set up right, and that is all. So from this point, I would just take my bucket name, my secret access key ID, and secret access key, and send them into SkySwitch support to have the archived recordings move to my bucket.